With AEW having their eyes on four major signings and why Daniel Bryan picked AEW over WWE, this is Wrestling Up. My name is John and you're watching the Wrestling Report for July 22nd. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Up and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with everything in the world of pro wrestling. After joining Impact Wrestling in 2017 and becoming a force in the Knockouts division, Kira Hogan has taken to OnlyFans to announce that she is leaving the promotion. What's up babies, I'm in Nashville for tapings and you guys will be the first to know that this is my last Impact tapings and I'm going to see what else is out there for me. I'm so excited and scared but I know whatever I choose to do I'm going to be the best. She along with Tasha Steeles are two time Knockouts tag champions as they are set to challenge for the titles once again tonight. When it comes to WWE Survivor Series pay-per-view, Andrew Zarian dropped some big news on the Matt Man Pro Wrestling Podcast. You've got a big show in a big building and you're trying to tell it out. I mean, who better than the most electrifying man in sports entertainment? He is definitely walking tall, but he was in Get Shorty. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is expected for Survivor Series. I feel confident that is the plan. With him making his main roster return to SmackDown last week, Finn Balor sat down with the bump and was asked if he'd like to become a part of a tag team. As he stated, that is something I honestly haven't thought about once. Obviously, if Joe becomes available again, obviously that's a dream partner for me. We've had a very long friendship and long rivalry in the ring. You know, one of my great friends on SmackDown is Kevin Owens, so if he ever needs me as a tag team partner, I'll be willing to step up. While Balor said that Samoa Joe would be a dream partner, he has a better chance of being able to team with Owens. Despite WWE having many King of the Ring tournaments, women have never had their own until now, as Wrestling Inc. reported. We've learned that WWE will be doing a Queen of the Ring tournament this year. This would not only be great to showcase the division, but a good way to push someone into the main event without a title. On the Battleground podcast, AEW's Mark Henry touched on the promotion's partnerships with the likes of Impact, AAA, NWA, and New Japan, stating it was good for pro wrestling in general. I thought, what a novel concept. Give the fans what they want and not have it be one-sided. I think that coming up, it's going to be really interesting to see a relationship between Jay White and Kenny Omega, what's going to happen. Jay pretty much ran Kenny out of the Bullet Club out of Japan, and now here they are back in America, where people can see them and week to week basis and impact, it's going to be good, it's going to be good for pro wrestling. Now that Malachi Black and Andrade have found their way to AEW and it's being reported that CM Punk and Daniel Bryan could be well on their way too, Dave Meltzer touched on these big names on Wrestling Observer Radio. In May, I was told that there are four signings, two somewhat big and two huge. None of them were signed, but there was confidence that they would be signed. I knew two of them were Aleister Black and Bryan Danielson. I knew they were two that were being talked to that AEW really wanted. The other two were Punk and Andrade. I was pretty sure it was Punk. His name had been floated around and fit the category. As far as guys who fit the category who are also available and as far as giant names, there aren't a lot who are free agents. I mean, who is there who's going to wrestle? There are going to be wrestlers and I mean it's like CM Punk, Dave Batista, Brock Lesnar, I knew it wasn't going to be Dave because he's in Hollywood. Despite Brock Lesnar being a free agent, him going to AEW seems like a long shot, but with All Out in Chicago on September 5th, that would be a perfect time for CM Punk to appear. After leaving WWE following the 2014 Royal Rumble, CM Punk is reportedly in talks with AEW to make a return to wrestling. On his Hall of Fame podcast, Booker T mentioned issues Punk could be facing for his comeback. Now that's what I'm thinking about CM Punk who's been away from the game for 7 years. I'm not hating or anything like that. My thing is this, in my 40s, mid 40s, even though I still looked good, I had a phobia about taking my shirt off in the locker room with the young guys. It's like man, these guys look great. You know I had a subconscious thing that I was working with there, even though I still look good. So I was thinking, you know, maybe my time has passed me by. Maybe it's time for me to start doing something else as well as am I losing a step? So I start questioning myself when I got to a certain age. When you 
start questioning yourself, it's time to move on to something else. Staying on the topic of CM Punk possibly going to AEW, Andrew Zarian brought up AEW having a bit more urgency when it comes to his signing. I would say that there is more urgency, the CM Punk thing is taking a little bit longer, but you kind of get a month and a half because you definitely want him for Chicago. Because if this is it, then you want him on that show before Chicago. With Daniel Bryan reportedly signing a deal with AEW, Dave Meltzer touched on the possibilities as to why Bryan picked AEW over WWE. As far as Bryan Danielson goes, I'm pretty sure that whatever decision I mean, there are a lot of factors that are going into whatever decision he would make. It was New Japan, AEW, and WWE. He didn't consider anybody else. He has loyalty to WWE and Vince McMahon, and he has a lot of friends in WWE. In the end, the company who had the relationship with New Japan would be the favorite to get him. With Lance Archer defeating John Moxley for a New Japan title on Dynamite, Brian has a great chance to work with New Japan talent and maybe even wrestle in Japan with AEW. As SummerSlam approaches, it will be held in Las Vegas but could be playing at your local theater. As WWE noted, SummerSlam hits movie theaters for the first time ever on August 21st thanks to iconic events now. Get your tickets now to experience the biggest event of the summer on the big screen. On the Matt Men Pro Wrestling podcast, Andrew Rosarian said he had been told plans for Big E alluding to a successful cash-in of his Money in the Bank contract. Big E is the right guy to win this. I've been told some of the plans. I don't want to say all of them, because plans change, pal. I'm hoping they go with this. I think this is the moment for him. I think a proper cash-in for Big E is the moment. And touching on plans for The Rock at WrestleMania, Andrew Zarian also noted, by the way, Rock vs. Roman, that is what is soft on paper for the main event in Dallas. I mean, Dallas, 100,000 people, you need the freaking Rock. On Wednesday, it was announced that former WWE star Velveteen Dream would be appearing at SWF's event on September 11th, but after receiving negative feedback, it has been said by the owner and founder, tonight we announced Velveteen Dream would be appearing at our home sweet home event. I believe any man can be slandered and have been through other situations in my life unrelated but untrue. After careful consideration, Dream has been removed. And this was your Pro Wrestling News Update. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.